All right, let's do uh, let's do the last problem here. So, uh, yet another twelve and a half gram bullet going five hundred sixteen goes right through block. Ooh, goes right through. This is a different problem. Okay, that's different. It doesn't stick in it, right? It's going three hundred fourteen meters per second after it goes through the block. What is the block's at velocity after it passes through, and to what height does the block rise? This is a different question. Okay, so let's draw a little picture here, right? So we got bullet, block, and the block's hanging from a very long string. It's actually that's more than one string, right? Okay, so this is 516 meters per second, 0 0.0125 kilograms. This guy is not moving, and it has a mass of 1.625. And then, in the next picture, the bullet has gone right through the block. There's a hole all the way through, but no pieces come off the block, mind you, right? And the bullet is going only 314 meters per second. This guy's going V. We don't know how fast. Here, this is meters per second, right? And this is 1.625 and 0 0.0125 kilograms. So just dividing that by 1,000. This one's already kilograms, so we're set, right? And then the block of wood here is moving, and then here it's going to it's going to swing up to some height, right? And the bullet will be still moving along this way, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, let's figure out how fast this guy's going, right? So we'll go uh, zero point one two five times five sixteen plus zero, this guy's not moving to begin with, right? Equals 1.625 V, because a bullet does not st stick in the, <laughs> stike in the like, it doesn't stick in the block, right? It goes right through the block, right? And then <coughs> this bullet is going 0 0.0125, it's going uh, 314, okay? So let's, let's figure that out. The velocity, this velocity is, I'm gonna start on this side, so point, Oh, that's 0, 0.0125. Got to put the 0 in there. 0 0.0125 times 516. I'm going to subtract this. Minus 0 0.0125 times 314. And now I'm going to divide by divide by 1.625. And this is 1.5538. Okay, so that's the first answer. What's the speed of the block <coughs> after the bullet's gone through it, right? And then the next question is, how high does the um, <coughs> how high does the block swing? So for that, I'm going to use um, kinetic energy here. Becomes potential energy there. Okay, so one half, one point six two five. So just remember, it's just the block because the bullet goes through the block, right? times 1.5538 squared equals uh, 1.625 times 9.81 times h. And that's where we're trying to find the height, right? Okay, so notice that the mass cancels. So I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to go 0.5 times that answer I just got squared and then divide by 9.81. I should have the height. I'm getting 0 0.123. meters. Okay, why am I so far off? Here it's one, two, one, and there it's one, two, three. Can I quickly figure that out? One, six, two, five, one, five, three. I got this right. This is definitely right. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's slightly off too. Okay. Hmm. Let's double check this. Let me make sure I'm right here. I'm going to stop this video.